Right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, restring the outboard section of this Rival X. And I'm going to show you how we do that. So first thing you're going to need, scissors, string, the string you get may be pre-cut, uh, this is a whole spool. And you can use a lighter, but probably not out in the uh, wind. So just be careful with that. And so we're going to start um, with one. We're not going to cut all of this away. We're going to just kind of do one by one. So we're cutting that off. And then we're cutting this guy off. And then I am going to take whatever this amount of string is. And my ladder. And it really helps if you're not working over your head. So kind of get up where you need to be. Start at the bottom and you'll come up and through. Do the same thing on the other side. Bottom, up and through, and then you're going to actually seat this like so. And you're going to hold these together. You're going to go ahead and make a knot like this, and you want this knot to come out right about there. You can move the knot just a little bit as needed. And then you tie in your second knot here. So, go ahead, cut that back fairly close. And then we'll just go ahead and finish this up. We normally burn them all, but uh, it's a short video. So I'm gonna hold it up like this, open my valve. All right, so Jeff is going and putting this in full slow trim while we're thinking about it. We are going to lose our slow speed trim. Our very slow speed trim will be lost. Uh, probably going to now trim out about 56, 57 miles an hour uh, as a slow speed. So depending on how your wing's set up, um, you wanna make sure this mark is at the very top mark there. So we need more rotation on this cap. So, of course, the way that we do this is we're going to unscrew about uh, 3 16ths a quarter inch out on the screw head, cover the top, and then pop it. And then we're going to rotate up to there. You can see it's on the first mark now. And then go ahead and tighten it back down. Do one side as it snugs. Do the other side as it snugs. Go back to the other side. And you want to definitely make sure that these tips are all the way up when you string the outboard section of the, uh, the Rival X. So we'll start there and we'll go ahead and do the other side. All right, so we've gone ahead and strung all these battens. Now we're getting down to the tip batten here. And very important, this is going to stay a bungee cord, but very important, don't stretch the bungee cord uh, at all. So we're putting it through the same way we did the string. And this is basically the same way. Make sure this is on. We put this on and again, without stretching the bungee cord, we're gonna tie a knot here. And this bungee is a little on the short side. So what you can do is bring this over to help you to make the knot. Bring this through. And once you've got your knot through, Bring it back up here, bring this out and you can roll the knot looser like I'm doing right here and then go ahead and feel it. So go ahead and tighten it. We're going to tighten the knot like this, tighten it all the way. Okay. That feels good. And unfortunately it's done by feel and there's no wrong way as much as make this side like that side. And so this one's going to stay a full bungee cord. And then these, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, are all strings. All right, and next we're making sure that we have the Velcro done on both sides and it's tight. If your Velcro is compromised, if you don't have Velcro on both sides, do not attempt this next step. Um, but this is very, very important and you'll see why in a second. Now we're going to show you how to change the wing struts. Now this one already has 
the seven degree positive angle wing strut. If your fitting is not green on the right side and it's silver, that means it's a zero degree. And uh, that does not work well with this setup. It'll make it very easy to roll in, but very hard to roll out of the turn. So we need to change these out to the uh, seven degree positive angle of incidence for the struts. So I've unzipped, I'm gonna expose the next hole here by sliding down the neoprene like so. And then I'm gonna pre-prep and I will take the nut off like so. Once you got it to that point, just go ahead and take that off, take the safety off. And then I've got a helper on the wingtip. This is Mark, so turn towards Mark. Mark, you're gonna go ahead and just lift some pressure up. Okay, and a little more pressure. And I'm wiggling this, more pressure. And then disconnect this. And so the way that we're gonna change out a wing strut, now I just wanted to show you um, how we do this. And so you would take this out, you would put the green one back in. This can rotate also, take a look here. So be careful it doesn't rotate on you. Try to keep that hole lined up. And then as best you can, put this in. You can use this small screwdriver again to kind of center things up. And put this through. Come back up. And come down just a little bit. Just uh, a little higher, right there. And then this guy here. Right there, and then release. And you want the person on the wingtip to release the pressure. That way these pins don't go flying. And now, very, very important, if you value your life, you'll make sure you assemble this again here. You can put a new nylock if you like here. We'll go ahead and tighten this up. But that's how you change out the wing strut fittings. So make sure you have a red colored one on the left and a uh, green one on the right. We do also have a couple different ones that are red and green. So don't just assume that the positive sevens kind of verify that they are rotating the strut in a positive angle of attack on each side. And uh, that should get you the right angle of incidence for your wing strut. Go ahead and zip that back up. And now this is ready to test flight. With that said, make sure that all of your battens are to template. Some of the modifications you may have made with the version two of the wing that work great with the version two of the wing may not work well with the version three, which is what we just added to this wing. So make sure your batten profile is to the chart um, before you attempt your uh, uh, first flight. Make sure your trim is all the way to slow. You are gonna give up some slow speed trim. You're gonna gain some high speed trim gain lots of efficiency, and uh, it's gonna hold a lot more energy in the landing, so that's gonna be helpful as well. Thanks for watching.